All right, welcome to another episode of Free Code Friday. My name is Jason Bach. This is episode 18. We're going to keep going down the Quixel path. Last time I <clears throat> started updating this first project here, and that got all updated. Now I have to do the unload. Whoops. I didn't screw it up, did I? No, I didn't. That's still... Go okay. So we're going to do... Oh, I forget my sculpt keyboard here. I'll show you. I'll make sure that I actually am showing you this because I don't. Just trust me. So you see that little right there? That little thing? That switches the function keys back and forth so you can like change the volume and up and down and all that other stuff. And sometimes I just forget to switch it. So I'm like, why wasn't Shift F10 doing what I wanted it to do? And now it is. All right, so let's edit it. All right, so if I come back here and do this, so I can use it as a template. Yeah, it's probably good enough. I don't think I reference like, and you know, just send and even then the project. So you know what I'm gonna do is take that. God, can, how did people ever like? use that all the time. <laughs> God, this format just this sucks. It's awful. Um, and, you know, being able to open and edit this file, I, I don't think people sometimes realize just how awesome that is, you know. All right, so that should... So they didn't need this. Okay, reload. And now let's just go through these things because they're going to be uh, come on tell me I should use var here come on come on you should tell me that I should not I should be using okay there you do right that's still on the project that should take care of a lot of them, and it does. But, huh, that's interesting. It can't. Oh, this, this hmm. That's, that <laughs> this is a cool one, um, because it can't, If I, I bet if I did this, if I said board, new board is null, this one now can be, yeah, but it can't if I'm doing this. Because it's basically saying, well, the second one is being assigned to null. So if it was var, I wouldn't know just from this first one what you really want it to be. And so the default is saying, you can't, you know, you got to define it fully. Okay. All right, all right, all right. That should be that. What else are you barking about? You know, I... Again, I really want to be um, careful in not changing too much of this and run the risk of actually breaking something, but um, I don't know why I keep saying just changing the document. Because what I really want to do with NUnit, one of them is I like doing the assert that, but I'm not going to change it right now. What I want to do, though, is, let's see, yes, except, oh, you won't do it everywhere, but at least, whoops, no, 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 at least you give me that. would be nice to say, hey, just change it everywhere, but, let's see if I got any string format. Okay, so that's awesome. I'll close. History tests. What are you going to show me here? Anything? Anything? Nope. Okay. I don't need a packages file anymore. Although, let me look at that quick. Yeah, it was just that unit. Okay, don't need that anymore. Gone. 
and I should. Why did I ever? That looks just stupid. I'm going to eventually change that code, but again, just leave it. What's with the board here? Thank you. And thank you. Any more? Nope. Is that like spaced right? Why does it have that one space there? That's so weird. Like this one does too. And it can't figure out that, no, nah, I really want it there. And it would change this, will it do a tertiary? Or tern tertiary. Ternary. Um, no, it doesn't. It's not smart enough to go, which I would want to do. But again, I'm trying to, although I do have tests, but I don't want to focus too much on code changes. Of course. We said that. Okay, what? All right, where is this file? being like generated. These are just dependencies. Yeah, I don't I get it. It should be this. And of course copyright twenty. Need a little C thing in there because it's got to be copyrighted, right? And then this should be three. Yeah, of course. This is a little confusing that they have the package thing in here, but some of these are would also go if you were not doing a package. So... There we go. Thank you. Alright, so that one's done. And then I said engine is the one that's referencing the framework. Okay. So... that, edit that, cry, and how awful it looks. Let's pull that one up. Let's make sure it's there. Now we can probably just use the framework one because it should be pretty much exactly the same. Except supposed to be. Well, I should have it over here, right? Project reference, include. Oh, I didn't, okay. I didn't close it. Maybe if I read the directions. All right. This should be protected. Because if you have an abstract class, there's no way to create it, so. Okay, what? Yeah. And then... Let 
And you should do one more thing. Which is you should be smart enough and go, hey, do a name of here. No. You should be smarter than that. All right. Oh, God. Ugh. Configuration section handler. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is a... I guess. Wait. Oh, this will be fun. <laughs> yeah, I get what it's saying. Um, that it could go into configuration and do this. Do I really care? The whole point of this was to say, hey, you got your own engines, your own Quixel engines. And this game was going to sweep the nation, so Let's put it in a way so that you could plug in your own engines. But frankly, I'm thinking this can go away. I don't see a point to it, to be honest. Ooh, a manual reset event. <laughs> That'd be a fun one. That would be a fun one. Because it because um, WebAssembly doesn't have threads yet, though I think in Blazor you can actually do tasks and threads in async coding, so that, that, that'll be interesting to see what happens there. Okay, so now tell me all the attributes that are failing. Okay. Assembly company. Come on, don't you know your company? Author. Wait. Copyright, right? Description. Is there a description? Yeah, there is a description. I should. All right, so. Now I should be able to get rid of that. Okay, next one. <clears throat> so framework and engine, okay. Oh, 
with that one. No, no app config for you. Go away. No, do I have a packages? Yeah, same thing. Okay. No packages config for you. Do I still have those in this? No, I took those out. Okay, good. Ah, uh, you suck. That was cute. I just noticed in the get all engines test, int i equal to zero never would have incremented. So how would you have known which one uh, that failed? Stupid. Um. Don't need that test anymore. He's a good engine. Is that what these test engines are? Yeah, but oh, so I should I could just say here uh, new random. This is where I should use a mocking engine, like rocks. This one I want to get rid of. Um, assert that. Throws type of null reference exception. Because why not? Um, this, though, will be an invalid move exception. Remember that. Remember that. Now, before I forget, I have issues. Oh. <laughs> oh, I've already conquered two of these. They're going to be conquered by what I'm doing. I should have actually made branches. I should have been a good boy, but I forgot. Um, but that's actually going to kill two of them. Um, so in this one,
I mean, I wrote the framework. I might as well. Um, I might as well use the framework that I have, right? Um, let's make this... Okay, wait a minute. Submit that. Um, milestones. I'm going to close this because it's pretty meaningless at this point. New milestone. 3.0.0. No, no, no. Come back here. Um, this one. Who did I say? Of course, I assigned to myself. Milestones. There, because we want this all to be that. This one. No, 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 no. No, no, no. What the? This one, we're going to say clear. It's not going to be part of any milestone. Explore duplicated code. I would like to, actually, but I know that the code clones does not work with the new file format. And so I actually just screwed myself on that one. But that's okay. Stop clicking the wrong clicky thing. There we go. Now, there. Okay, okay, so I got the issue, and I will not forget to come back here. Okay, good. All right, so tell me that there is duplicate blah, 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 blahs. Oh, I never even cleaned that one up at all. Well, that looks like a whole bunch of crap. Yeah. I... Wow. Oh, come on. I wish they would get their key bindings, like, actually decent. Okay, so that's done. Moving on. What are you referencing? The Quixel Engine and the Quixel Framework. Okay, I can remember that. That is the best kind of code to copy. What, what what did I have up here already? Okay, so Quixel framework. I need Quixel engine. Pug up, page up. Oh, but not there. Well, I can. I actually could, but I do like that they do separate. I no, I can't because that's an item group. That's a. Um, not a. Property group. Okay. Reload. Alpha beta pruning engine. Doesn't that sound so like official? These may need to be configurable. Yeah, I think. Can I? No. Oh, I can. All in document. Thank you. Okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> if Isnax is true, this is going to get some cleaning up later. But to do, this is wrong. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Maybe they'll come back to haunt me at some point, but. No, it's. Is that, like, is that like a binary format that I'm using for these? I think so. Alright, let's see what I gotta fix here because you're too stupid. Oh, now you're getting smarter. Yeah, but. You're getting smarter with what you need to put there. I'll say that. I don't know why I need that there either. Right. Boom. Waiting for references. Quixel Engine, Quixel Framework, and Quixel Smart Engine. I'm just surprised because I'm like, really? Do I use? Oh, I use those to. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. That makes sense. This next move causes a crash. Really? Well, you shouldn't allow that. <laughs> just ignore working on it. <laughs> late and I find this funny because this this is what I, I tell people all the time don't put ignore on tests because you will never get back to fixing them and what do I have here this code probably if I look in here this is in the smart engine four years ago well, actually I'm sorry that's the smart engine tests yeah, smart engine says four years ago. And I bet I moved this, yeah, it's initial commit. This used to be, I think, in Codeplex of all places. And so I moved it over here because everybody did. Everybody left Codeplex. And uh, I haven't touched those tests in quite a long time. So I got some work to do there, I guess. Huh, where am I at? Oh, almost at 30. Let, let's see if I can dive into the. Uh, um, thingamabobs. Uh, no, not that. That. I've, I use the same description in, like, everything. <laughs> God. Cool, we are getting close. We have two to go. What's in notes? Oh, yeah, I looked at that already. Controls. This should be fun because this is actually, um, this is getting into WinForm stuff. And. Ooh, designer. I don't want to see the designer, I want to see the actual code underneath the crap. There we go. Who is doing that kind of style? That's awful. My god. 
Component generated design code. Oh, remember that evilness? Delegate invocation could be. Yeah, thank you. I remember you. No, document. Thank you. And G, because, you know. Graphics, come on. Use a better name than that. But this is good. This shows, you know, that um, you should always look at your code that you wrote weeks, months, years ago and say, I can do better. If I look at something and go, eh, that's fine. Wait, why? Why don't you say var there? I guess because it's saying, well, I want it as a brush, but I, well, who cares, really? Wait, what? Oh, I can't do that. Okay. Why? Oh, because I have to... Okay. Sure. Make a Unicode. I don't know. See, the thing, though, with this is that I don't really care about this because the whole point of this is that this eventually should... There's something in the component generated. Ooh. Okay. I want to update these first rather than trying to. Um, Change your project type. Though it really shouldn't matter. Shouldn't that matter? This is going to be a little tricky, though, because I have a fair amount of state things that are happening in the board. Um, and I don't quite like that. So that may be a little bit tricky to do with um, the UI. I'm not sure. About dialogue, really don't care. I don't care. Who cares? What do you got in here? Oh, yeah. Just simplify member access for, like, everything. Form. Oh god, main form. How big is this sucker going to be? Way too big. <sighs> of course. I really shouldn't care too much about this because it's all going to change when I get to... Jason. There you go. What did I miss up here? What, what? Oh. oh, yeah, do that. Because why not? Oh, let's do that again. Okay. All right. So if I build this, yeah, it's going to say 
It can't, yeah, okay. So, gotta be a little careful here because I want to do the right thing. This is referencing Quixo Engine, Quixo Framework. Okay. Let's unload this. And we want to make sure that we're 471. So I would say it's all, that's why it's because I'm copying and pasting it. Duh. That for seven one. Though it might actually need to get some references to uh, down here. System Windows Forms. I bet that's what I'm going to need. And System Drawing. But that's okay, because this is a .NET 471 project, and, you know, we can blast all that to smithereens. That's fine. Let's see if this loads. Well, loaded. Is it build? Oh, yeah, because I don't know what system Windows Forms is. And reference assemblies system dot windows dot forms. Okay, now that should get rid of a whole bunch of crap. But I bet I still got. Oh, it's not referencing engine. Okay. Guess what? What? As an array list. Oh my god. I kept that around? Just what was that supposed to be? It's just an array list. I actually, no, this is wrong. What I want here is, uh, random engine. And then down here, Of course, this can be done a whole lot better. But I'm just trying to get it to build. you like in designer like everything what oh 
Oh, because it's... I wish it was just a little bit smarter than that. Man, it does not like this stuff, does it? Regions suck. Hate them. Okay, that's good. Nope. Var. And that. And that. And... Whoops. That. Okay. Because now I don't need this yeah, config anymore. Oh, yeah. Except I only need to change. All that. And the rest can die. You die a horrible death. Yeah. There. One more to go. I know I'm probably running over in this. Yes, I am at 42, but we got it. We got to at least finish this. At least get it to build. May not work. But that's okay. Just want to make sure that's there. Okay, and then we come here. Load this project up and cry, and this will be the last time I ever see this. Right? Right. Control. Oh, I gotta do controls too. Okay. Right. I gotta do controls. Better do controls. Should do controls. And this should be really thin. I mean, it's just run the main form, and the main form is in the other page. Why do I have an icon? Well, do I, who gives a crap? Do I even use the icon? I bet I don't. The Quixel game from Hasbro. I don't even know what's Hasbro. I probably just violated like 20 uh, patents and something. I don't know. What did I say? The, the Quixel game. Alright. You die. You die too, because I don't think you're needed at all. Let's build everything. Let's run all tests. Ooh, I got how many? Five failed smart engine tests. Oh, because they don't move as part of the, uh, yeah. These need to... No, no, no. Yeah, hold enter, sorry. Can I do this with all these? And then I'm kind of curious, because what does that do to the, the project file? Yeah, it just does a whole bunch of move them. Okay, let's try that now. Well, because there's...
Oh, one just took eight seconds because of reasons. These are integration tests and these do go through the alpha beta pruning engine. So they can take some time. Forgot about that. Okay. Cool. I oh, just got six tests back. Uh, the Thibida came and talk. Here's the big moment of truth. Does this actually even run? It's not a class library. What the hell did I do wrong? Let's say I'm a human, you're an engine. That didn't work. So it's not quite there yet uh, because it's something got screwed up that it couldn't. It still thinks both the players are human. Um, yeah, alpha beta pruning engine. Let's say random engine. Nope, that doesn't work either. Okay, so there's one little bug that it somehow that types and everything. That's that's funny that it does the command window, but that's okay. That is okay. That's actually much better state right out of the gate um, to work with the new project file format. That's a big one. Oh. oh. Yeah. Those should be... You know what? Those should just go away anyway. Let's close that out. Come over here. Go to my... Go projects. No, it is making one for 15. Why? Why? Do I have something yet? Nope, 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 nope. We know Rush is awesome, but that's not why we're there. Um, do I have any here for .vs? Yeah, vs directories. Just ignore those. I don't think I have that in my Quixel one. So now that gets cleaned up a little bit, commit the master, push. All right, cool. So next time, next time, I want to clear, I want to clean up the thing where it's not, I want to make sure that it's at least still doing the right engine. And I'm guessing it's because I removed the configuration stuff and the type isn't right and all that other thing so I will do that and then I want to see if I can start moving this into WebAssembly so that will be the the next big thing to this project um, but that's kinda that's kinda cool I actually that took what half of one episode in this one so less I mean honestly I did not do any work in between the two I did not do any work to start up because the stuff I did with Editor Config, I was actually doing some um, work when I was traveling and whatnot, and it was kind of a catch-up with one of my more recent ones. But this was just straight out, let's do it. And so all the work you saw me do was, you know, less than an hour to clean it up. And you know, I, I probably screwed up a couple of things in the CS project files and whatnot. But it works. It ran. It came up. It mostly did what it was supposed to do. So um, that that's a that's a good spot to be in. So next time, clean up the rest of the stuff, do minor tweaks, and then then we'll start looking at um, seeing if I can create a WebAssembly front end in Blazor for this. So thank you for watching. Question and comments, you know where to put them. See you next time.